Hi, it's July 28th, and I've been thinking about our thoughts creating our reality. So I was thinking about what has to happen in order for this to work. The universe has to conspire to bring us what it is that we want, that we are asking for, what we're putting out into the field. I was thinking about an example on the 4th of July. A friend of mine, Mark Howard, he and I graduated from high school together 42 years ago. He's homeless. And I see him walking around a lot, and I sometimes get him some food, or I sit and talk to him. I work with his social worker, and we're doing everything, we as a group of people are doing everything we can to kind of assist him and make sure his life isn't horrible. The 4th of July, a friend of mine and I were going to a little gathering. We walked over to my uh, other friend's house, and had a really good time and we're walking back. It was a bit warm and I was thinking, wow, I wish I had brought a bottle of water with me because it's kind of warm. So it was about another you know, 10 or 15 minute walk back to my house. So I was just putting this out into the universe. I wish I had a bottle of water. I kind of uh, made a choice of which way to walk back and we're walking, and we pass this group of people who are having a 4th of July gathering. And they said, hey, come on in and join us. Would you like a drink? And I said, no, but I'd love a glass of water. I mean, excuse me, a bottle of water. And they said, okay, cool. So they go over to the cooler, pull out a bottle of water. And the guy kept saying, are you sure you don't want something to drink? And I thought, well, I'll have some beer. And I really didn't want beer, but something just told me, get some beer. So he goes over to a tap, and he pulls... Um, out a cup and um, fills it with beer from the tap. So now I'm walking down and I said thank you and we had a very nice little time and um, now we're walking back home and I see Mark up a couple of blocks. Now Mark loves beer. It's one thing he really really enjoys. It was a hot day and a cold beer seemed like a really cool thing to have. So I call out to him and I say hey Mark come here. So he comes over and I said, look what I have for you. And I gave him this cup of beer and his eyes lit up and he was like a happy camper. So my friend and I walk off and I'm thinking, now what did it take for the universe to bring him that cup of beer? I had to go to this party. I had to leave at a particular time. I had to walk down a particular street. There had to be people there who had beer, there had to be people there who offered me some of that beer. He had to be walking down the street at that same time for all of this to come together. And I thought that was like really a great example of when we put something out into the universe, because I know he's always putting out, I'd love to have some beer out into the universe, what it took to bring all of that together. For me to know that he loves beer. For me to see him and call out to him and offer him the beer. And that's how our intentions work. I just think this is like the greatest example. Thanks for listening.